our daughter's hanging out here. I think she, she might be asleep. <laughs> but, oh, is she really? Oh, God. She's taking a little nap. She's comfortable here, you know? It's a true, you know, mom and pop shop. You feel like you're in someone's house, you know? And, and that's what we like to do here. You're always gonna see us down here. And that's, that's something that, you know, we're looking over the food and we're doing it exactly how we wanna do it. That's definitely what, what makes us different, for sure. It just presented itself. So the old owners, Brian and Leslie, they were looking to retire. They had been doing it for 10 years and they kind of gave us first dibs on taking over. So we kind of thought, what's the worst that could happen? We both were furloughed from our restaurant job. And so that was actually the same week as our wedding. So we, we sat down with them on a Wednesday. That Saturday we got married. So let's take the chance and it's been awesome. It was not the plan, no. I was at Reserve. And uh, Olivia was at Maru, that's where we met. I mean, I love Luke at Reserve. I mean, his food's always fantastic. Yeah, who, who doesn't like a burger and hot dogs, you know? That was, that was the easy part, was Brian and Leslie did such a great job getting the core of everything going here, the fresh cut fries, all that classic nostalgic food, and then we just kind of put our twist on it. Olivia grew up in Coopersville. I was born in Grand Rapids. I mean, I grew up on Yester Dogs. You know, I, I went to St. Thomas and we had that you know, for hot lunch once a month. It's it's in your, you know, your DNA being in Grand Rapids. And so it's nice to be a different, it's a different thing, right? Yeah. Boiled hot dog, grilled hot dog. But yeah, we definitely want to creep up into their territory, of course, you know, that's kind of the the bedrock of, of hot dogs in Grand Rapids. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had to. I'm a big fan of the Chicago dog. It's so hot back here that a cold hot dog is very appealing. Just keep staying in the community and continuing to do the fun stuff that, you know, we enjoy doing. I mean, it, it is something that we noticed through COVID that people would come in for five minutes as we made their food and we would talk to them and have those little connections. And it was our socializing in that time because it was just work and home. The community, we really built it from that point on. And now it's like people come in, we know their story, we know, you know, their kid is nervous about his basketball tryouts or whatever, you know, it's, it's, that's the stuff that's really been fun and exciting is to grow on those relationships. It's wild.